full outer joints just don't get enough love. All right, so what am I talking about? Well, first, let's just look at a typical query, okay? So here we have our sales table, okay? It's just a couple records in here. Let's suppose in a, tip, in a typical scenario, we want to maybe add some, some more date criteria, right? So maybe we want to join to a calendar table and add maybe day of week name or something like that, right? So typically, we do a join like this, an inner join on our calendar date, join on the date, okay? And then, boom, we get all of our additional date criteria. Typical scenario. Right? But the point I'm trying to make here is normally we start off with some sort of base table and we join from there, whether it's an inner join or maybe a left outer join. Okay, So the point being that there must be records in here in order to pull records from here. Right Now, the only, the only difference would be if we did a right join here, then that's a different story. But in most cases, we have this base table. All right, But let's look at a different scenario now. Okay, so let's jump over here, and here we have two tables, imports and exports, okay? doesn't matter what we're importing or exporting, it's not important. Um, and the records are down here. Now I want to focus on these records, okay? Notice that the only records or dates that these tables, import and exports, have in common is May 15th. But you'll notice that we don't import and export every day, so not, you're not going to find all dates in both tables. Some might have, some they may have in common, some they may not. Okay, but let's suppose you got a requirement from the business where you wanted to, they wanted you to produce some sort of result set or some report that showed all of our imports and exports for every day. Okay, how would you do that? You can't just do what we did in the earlier example and select from export, right? Right? And then join import. This will not work. So if we join here, let's see what we get. So we did an inner join, so obviously we're only going to get the records they have in common. Let's change this to a left join. And now you see all we get is the is the days that are in our export table, right? Because this is our base table. So the only way we're going to pull records from here is if they also exist in here. Okay? And if we reversed it, same story. Okay. Fix that. All right. Now, same story. Now we're only going to get records that are in our import table. Okay. Just for giggles, we'll do a right outer join. And now you can see we have everything in our export table, but only common records from our import table. So now how can you accomplish this? We need all of it. We need to see May 13th, 14th, and 15th. Now, Early on in my career, I would have probably created some type of temp table, okay? And I would have first loaded all the dates, right? And then I would have updated the values, the import and export quantity, right? With separate queries. Another way you can do this, you can basically do a union, right? So you can do select. Right? And now we get all of our dates. But the only problem is now they'll repeat, right? Because we're merging the rows. Well, we're not merging the rows. We're just unioning the rows, right? We're kind of joining the rows. So now we can have a, a date appear twice, right? So then maybe you would wrap this. Right? And then we can do group, add a group by. And we'll do group by our cal date, right? So now you can wrap this. And now we have what we want. We have 13th, 14th, and 15th, and we've aggregated all of the quantities. Hey guys, I quickly just want to point out a little mistake I made here. I should have actually split out the import and export quantity instead of aggregating them together like you see here, but hopefully you still get the idea, okay? And we get every day, and each day only appears once, right? So there's a point in my career where I may have done it this way. But this is a lot of work to accomplish this, and this is where full outer joins come into play. This is the beauty of the full outer join. So let's rewrite this with using a full outer join. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to select, we'll just do star for now, from, and it doesn't matter which table we start with here. So we can just start with our export table. 
right? And then we'll tell do a full outer join on our import table. And let's run this. And now you can see we get every record, okay? But if you'll notice, we don't want multiple date columns here, right? We don't want export date and import date. They're the same date, right? We just want one date, okay? So what you'd simply do is coalesce the values. And then you could select your quantities. And away you go. Now we have the same results in a single query. We didn't need to do any crazy unions and table expressions. We were able to simply do this using a full outer join. All right, so that'll do it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And also check out jamestechtips.com for more BI-related content. And thanks for watching.